Hi again. So it's still August 6, 2018, sorry. I want to thank the subscriber who sent along this article, Diane Feinstein. Yeah, details surface about Chinese spy who worked for Diane Feinstein for decades. And she didn't know, yes, yeah, somebody infiltrated Diane Feinstein's office for decades and she had no clue. Oh, poor Diane. All right, this woman. I wish that I could say that she is just among a few, but she is among many who are so thoroughly, disgustingly, despicably corrupt to the core that it is stunningly incomprehensible that she is still in office and that Californians haven't run to her office and yanked her out and did that, you know, civilian arrest, that this woman still walks free, is, it, this article reminded me of several videos that I posted on Kafka Winston World about Diane Feinstein and how her corruption has been, it, it's, sh sh how do we allow these people to continue to walk free? Well, they, they do, and these people are so disgustingly immoral. They would sell out their own baby, child, mother, if they could make money off of that selling. So, I do believe that Diane Feinstein knew that there was a Chinese spy working for her. I just want to bring your attention to some of the corruption, but it, the, the, one of the videos that I posted on Kafka Winston World was this incredible article that was written for The Nation magazine, and it was in part funded by The Nation, an investigation of Dianne Feinstein when she was chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee and how she profited from the war in Afghanistan as well as Iraq she giving to her husband no bid contracts and they increased their wealth by about one billion dollars. So you have American soldiers who died in that war. So many Iraqis and Afghan, Afghans who died and suffered the consequences of these people who profited financially. Here's one, Diane Feinstein's outrageous underestimate of civilian drone deaths. Yes, the powerful Democratic senator says that fewer than 10 civilians per year are typically killed by America's targeting killing program, despite extensive evidence to the contrary. Oh, and the evidence to the contrary is, well, glaring. But these people lie through their teeth all the time. And yes, it is incredibly maddening, frustrating that we allow them to continue lying while people are dying. I came across, I, I tried to find that Nation article, or, or it wasn't the Nation actually, it was a piece written by the journalist who did the investigation on this corruption that was taking place with Senator Feinstein the article was so beautifully written and guess what the editor what's her name oh god I can't think of it but I can see her face Vander Hoovel she killed it she didn't publish it in the nation 
what she did about a month later was publish an article on the 10 most respected women senators. Dianne Feinstein topped the list. So instead of running the piece of how disgusting this woman is, the nation, Katrina Vanderhoevel, am I getting the name right? Jesus, my memory. Yeah, instead of running that piece, she glorified Diane Feinstein. The corruption of Senator Feinstein. I found this piece because I couldn't find that article written about the nation killing that article. Um, well, bumped into this. Want to pass it along. Want to pass it along to you in California. How is it that you allow this woman to continue? Table of contents. Look at it's 68 pages, okay? And this was in 2016. Two more years means Diane Feinstein has just been allowed to continue her corruption while you Californians and we Americans suffer the consequences of how this woman behaves. Now, I certainly am not going to go into it all. Compilation of evidence. Corruption charges in the clean tech crash case, which they focus on. And that corruption, well, I did capture a few pieces in this PDF that I just want to uh, speak about, read into this video. It is very clear that something is very wrong with Americans for allowing these people to continue to walk free. The charges against the fine Feinstein family cartel in this clean tech crash case, while in the mayor's office, Bruce Brugman, publisher of the top San Francisco weekly newspaper, the San Francisco Bay Guardian, documented and published nearly 100 corruption charges against Feinstein. This was a long time ago. Local law enforcement efforts against Feinstein were nearly impossible at the time, according to Bay Guardian staff, because local politicians and authorities had been paid off by James Brockema, not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, David Rockefeller's bagman, and John Molinari, the local mob bagman. Ex-Guardian staff suggested that associates of one of those two Feinstein financing clans had possibly arranged the George Moscone assassination in order to position Feinstein for higher office. The Tesla slandra corruption Elon Musk came out and said that the a building in uh, Silicon Valley, San Francisco, the Numai building was unusable and he was looking at other real estate for his Tesla company. Feinstein talked Tesla into using it so that her husband's company could profit from it and so she could arrange kickbacks to Tesla more easily. Feinstein worked with Senator Harry Reid on the clean tech scams 
and the Tesla Solandra, well, you'll see how it it all ties in to make the Feinsteins incredibly wealthy. So together by helping White House staff and financiers manipulate the program, they made over 50 million in personal profits at taxpayer expense. Feinstein staff worked for and were compensated by Tesla and Solandra. Remember the Solandra scandal? Obama? Yes, he gave Solandra. Taxpayers, you gave half a billion dollars to Solandra and it went bankrupt. Oh, the green, the green technology companies. We've got to invest in those green companies because, you know, the earth. It's burning up global warming. So Solandra, given half a billion dollars, companies go, go bankrupt. It costs taxpayers half a trillion, I think. <laughs> and these people walk away with so much money. Their wealth is just quadrupled as we bear the consequences. But in some cases, fine, fine, Feinstein, the staff, and Tesla staff were interchangeable in direct conflict of interest. Feinstein's husband had financial interest in the railroad property adjacent to the Tesla and Salandra buildings. Feinstein later got him the entire California high-speed rail contract. The Feinstein family owned the construction company, which Tesla and Solandra used. They were given no bid contracts. Feinstein associate Roger Bose, not sure I'm pronouncing that right. They were arrested for involvement in child prosecution ring for pol political pedophiles and for embezzling money for the Moscone Convention Center construction. Feinstein family held war profiting contracts in Afghanistan, Bolivia, and other regions, which held the exclusive mining contracts for Solandra and Tesla chem chemicals. Why are we in Afghanistan? It's not just the poppy seeds, but it's lithium for batteries. Oh my God, the corruption is just so ingrained in our country. that I think the only way that we can ever get rid of it is the complete and utter collapse of the system. After Solandra was raided by the FBI and went bankrupt, costing taxpayers over half a trillion dollars in losses, the Feinstein cartel used the tax write-off losses to make a profit via tax form manipulations on the tax write-off losses from the Solandra crash. And all of this is documented, linked to resources. Click on the links and you will see that it wasn't only that investigative journalist that was hired by the nation to investigate the corruption of Diane Feinstein, which it was sitting on the Senate Intelligence Committee, but many journalists have investigated this corruption of Feinstein and it's all documented. So Feinstein and her staff, they sabotaged other applicants who were competing for the same funds as Tesla and Solandra. Even after Solandra went bankrupt, the Feinstein family continued to profit off the Solandra scandal by releasing the buildings and collecting real estate profits. Feinstein's family ran the property sales and leasing contracts for the Tesla and Solandra buildings. Gary D. Con Conley, a Bay Area solar and hydrogen company CEO, whistled blue on the corruption at Tesla and Solandra and was later found with a bullet in his head behind a North Northern California Air Force base. Although other competing applicants had been in written discussions and negotiations, 
with senior executives at Toyota for the use of this Numai plant. Feinstein warned Toyota that only Tesla would be supported for the use of the plant. This was before anyone from Tesla had contracted, had, had contacted anyone from Toyota. The owners of the plant and after Elon Musk had been published in the press saying that Tesla could have no use for the building. Here you have nice little uh, PowerPoint. It just makes it simple in this PDF. Senator Yi was arrested. Senator Melendez. Senator Calderon. Was Melendez arrested? God, I don't even remember, but was Feinstein? Feinstein, no. Feinstein wants to limit who can be a journalist. Remember that. Yeah. Feinstein wanted and proposed introduced legislation of who could be a journalist and who could not be. Yes, the government would approve who could be the journalists in our country, in our free country. That's Diane Feinstein. Why did she introduce this kind of legislation? Well, she was sick of journalists who were uncovering her corruption and wanted to put a stop to it. Diane Feinstein, the most corrupt individual in Congress, roots even more government money to firm owned by her husband, Elon Musk's growing empire. Yes, so Feinstein talks Elon Musk into taking over this building that he had no use for. And guess what? $4.9 billion gets fueled into his Tesla company. Your money, American tax dollars, 4.9 billion. So these uh, workers that you see at the Numai plant, I don't know what that plant is, but they were all fired. And I believe that they were promised that they would be working for Elon Musk. Promises don't mean a friggin' thing in our country. So please stop listening to people who promise you the world when you don't get it. Over and over and over again, we've seen this happen. Uh, America's main problem, corruption. Absolutely. Sadly, in the month since we last posted on this topic, many new examples of corruption have arisen. The cop is on the take. Government corruption. All of these are links. You can read up. But Fremont, California real estate scam. That's your senator, Californians. Tesla and Salandra. Commercial real estate. Both were. <sighs> she and her husband made a fortune. Senator Dianne Feinstein has long been accused of corruption and unethical behavior in Congress. She wanted to get rid of the Second Amendment. Oh, but she has guns. She can keep her guns. She's an important person. She's got to protect herself. You Americans, well, you can, according to Diane Feinstein. Salandra received more stimulus than 35 states received for highways, roads, and br bridges. Does this not, are you not mad? Are you not angry? The five billion dollar man, Elon Musk. The Tesla tax money scam. Who, there were so many people involved. 
The Department of Energy was involved. Silicon Valley, Tesla and Solandra, Ivan, Ima, Emmanuel, Rahm Emanuel, Gibbs, Axelrod, Carney, Ratner, Obama. Yeah, all of those fabulous Democrats that the liberal progressives still, they, they will, will not face the truth about their own party, how corrupt they are. The DNC profited, Feinstein, Reed, Obama, political co campaign funds, all of this money. And that money, the majority of it, came from Americans. The tax dollars that they paid to the IRS benefits all of these people like Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett, the Illuminati sleeper cell of corruption within the United States. Depopulation is a key plan for the very rich. We all know that. Who else profits? Google, Greylock, Kleiner Perkins, Vantage Point, Draper Fisher, all of these companies. Energizer! That bunny made an awful lot of money. The owner, the, the users and buyers of lithium ion batteries. That's one of the reasons why we are in Afghanistan to steal their minerals, lithium, sometimes, you know, this this kind of corruption and evil, it just sinks you. Diane Feinstein organized crime chart. All the people who benefited, but who benefited the most? She and her husband pocketed cash, insider stock trading. They they were engaged in the construction company, the no bid contracts going to these construction companies, leasing companies, the lobbyists to get the sites, lobbyists to get Department of Energy money. It was all funneled back to these incredibly sick, corrupt, this couple, the Feinstein couple. Their relatives were involved, favored nations and kickbacks from Goldman Sachs. You know, it's really unfortunate that we can't seem to get any <laughs> any of this stopped. Um, oh, it's definitely possible. It is absolutely, definitely, 100% possible. If Americans were in their right mind and could actually take action for protecting their own best interests, but they can't. They actually vote against their best interests. And here's the PDF. And here are all of the links to all of the articles. The 25 most vicious Iraq war profiters. We're looking at two on that list. American soldiers died or end up with PTSD, traumatic brain injury, and people believe that this woman cares about them. She cared about the billion dollars she cared about her own comfortable, luxurious life that she gets to live. She could care less about all of those soldiers who died and all of the soldiers who now have to live suffering the injuries and living an unbelievable nightmare because we have a VA 
that is also incredibly corrupt. The selling post offices. She and her husband. Selling post offices. That real estate increased their wealth. She's also involved in privatizing water and water rights in California. But I can't speak to that because I can't really remember the details. These people are so thoroughly just disgusting and we've got to get rid of them somehow. But it can only be done by Americans because they're not going to jail, guys. Our system is so thoroughly corrupt that it rewards people like Diane Feinstein. Feinstein Feinstein. And we have a system that is so thoroughly corrupt with our quote unquote free press. Where fortunately we do have access to a lot of the evidence that is documented by those journalists who have documented it throughout the years, but we have on the left the nation and the liberal progressives. Oh, they love the nation. And the nation, instead of posting that article, publishing that article that exposed Diane Feinstein for who she really is, they instead kill it and glorify her as one of our most powerful, respected women senators. Woof, boy. We have manifested something really dirty here in the good old U.S. of A.